Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's Sal from Trim and Tuck Carpets. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on why we raise door bars. We have had a previous video that I was that was uploaded and a lot of the comments was why are you raising the bars? What's the point of raising the bars? I've never raised bars. I'm a carpet fitter for 25 years and never had a problem raising bars. And it just kept going on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to explain to you why we raise the bars, how we raise the bars, what benefits it has and what cons it has if it does have any. So I'm just going to be very general with regards to this, this demonstration. So when it comes to raising a door bar, if you can see here, let me get a pen. So the door bar that we're going to be raising is in place. Now I'm going to put it sideways so you can understand. We've got a door bar here. We've got a 10 mil underlay. Generally speaking in the market, it's always 10 mil. That's what a lot of people use. So we'll cut this down and the 10 mil underlay would finish here. Correct. If it doesn't finish there, then you're not doing the job right. Then we'll have a normal carpet, approximately eight mil. Nothing special, nothing extravagant, just a normal carpet that needs to be cut down. So I'll cut this down now, just so it can be demonstrated. So now we have the nap going this way, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Now, let me secure all of this down so we can um, uh, have everything in place so there's no movement. So we'll secure that down. We'll get our nice glue gun. We'll secure this down. Generally speaking, you'll be nailing this down and raising it. What I'll do is I'll uh, put it in the description so you can um, refer to that video and understand why we're doing this video. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I would advise go watch that because I explain how we raise it on site. Then you can come back to this video and understand um, why we raise door bars. So what I should have done really is done this. Cool. So I'm not sure how you can see this, this profile from the camera. I'm hoping, is it all good cameraman? The door bar's in place, the underlay's in place, and the carpet's been opened up. So now the carpet is in place. Now, as you can see, the carpet, let me open this up so I can see while I'm explaining it. So now the carpet is ready to be tucked in. Yeah, and you can see there's a void there. Can you see that? There's a void within that area. So now if we tuck this in, so if we secure the carpet down, so there's no issues, and then we tuck this in, you can see that it's sloping down. Let me see if I can see from here. As you can see from this section here, them, this void area is the concern that I have because this teeth, these teeth within the bar itself, they're there for a reason. These teeth are here for a reason. They're not there for show. So that void area where the carpet now is higher because of the underlay, slopes into the bar, locks into this gully area, but the teeth are serving no purpose. So as you can see, the teeth are actually serving no purpose. Now, is it gonna hold? Is it not gonna hold? Let me come back. Is it gonna hold? Is it not gonna hold? Yeah, it might hold a little bit here and there. Depending on how thick the carpet is, depending on how much traffic it gets or the angle that it's gone in. Yeah, it might hold a little bit, but is it gonna hold the way it should? No, it's not, because that will just come out. So the main understanding is that it's sloping in, sloping in, and then there's a void area. And this is the void area that we don't want. So let me break it down in another way. So we have the bar here, we have the underlay, and the carpet is sloping in. And that's the reason why we raise bars. So I'm gonna break it down. Gripper, why do we put a gripper around the perimeter of the room to hold the carpet, keep the carpet under tension, lock it all in, able to fit it, blah, blah, blah. Why is the gripper this high? Why, why can't the gripper be like this? Why can't the gripper be just a bit thicker than that just so you can get something to tuck in? And why is it like that? Same thing, right? I'll tell you why. One, because you need a tucking space. And two, it's gonna be in line with the underlay. So this is a thicker underlay. That's why there's different types of grippers. That's why there's a deep base gripper. That's why there's a medium a base gripper, which is probably this, or maybe a bit under this. And that's why there's a short pin gripper, there's a long pin gripper. It, it serves different purposes. It's just not generic. Would it work? Probably, yeah. But is it gonna be to a high standard? No. Is it gonna service full potential? No. This is a 10 mil underlay, and this is like a six mil gripper. And personally speaking, with 10 mil, I'll probably go a bit thicker on the gripper, but would it work? Yeah, this will work. So why can't we do this then? Why can't we just do that? And keep it a little 
maybe let, let's just say this was a bit higher because it serves no purpose the carpet is nowhere near gonna get stuck onto that so why do we use why don't we use that principle for door bars so now let's take this wall off take off this glue what we do here is um <clears throat> we have a six mil ply 5.5 and we cut them down in size of the bar so whenever once someone's had an early finish we just cut loads down and we just keep them in the van and this is basically what we use to raise a bar it's very like universal it's generic it can work for a lot of carpets because generally the carpets are 10 mil underlay is 10 mil sorry so we don't really if, if, if it's higher than that then we will um, use something a bit more thicker so now we have a bar that we're going to raise so we'll put that there you can see the difference we'll glue this down We'll put this down in line. You won't need to glue this if you're on site. It was obviously, it was obviously be screwed or hammered down. Then we'll glue this down. And then this will go on top. And now what you have here is a very even finish. So you have the underlay finishing with the actual bar itself. There's loads of pros with this. One, underneath, one, once this is tucked in, it gets a, it's a very flat, consistent finish. So it's not like dipping in. Secondly, them teeth, these teeth, are now locking the carpet in. So the carpet's actually gonna be touching these teeth. And as you stretch in or stretch away, it's gonna lock it in. So this will be locked in, so it doesn't, come out that's the whole point so it doesn't come out if you have the bar higher than the underlay then the lockingness of the actual carpet is going to be less likely to get anchored in or like hooked on like a fish for example it's less likely for that to happen so raising the bar one it gives a very clean finish in terms of face value is very level it raises it up to the door so it's very even two the most important thing is it locks it in so the traffic that you're going to be getting in and out of rooms in and out of bathrooms in and out of lounges or extensions that you have bars in it's going to hold it in place this is the reason why these teeth are here now having the carpet going over and dipping in these ain't going to serve its purpose and that's the reason why we raise our bars that's a technical reason why we raise our bar. So sometimes we may do things and it looks silly. It just looks extra. But there's a reason why we do it for the longevity. There's a reason why we spend that extra five, 10 minutes on a particular thing because we don't want problems in the future. We're going to leave the carpet looking nice, even though it may be a dip, but we're more concerned of it looking nice and it lasting nice, if you know what I mean. We don't want it just to look nice, we want it to last long, so then the carpet is basically fulfilling its purpose and not just, oh, it's coming out the doorway. How many complaints have we gone to where they've said, oh, it's coming out the doorway, oh, oh, I can see like it's a bit short. You know? It's because it's number one, it's not under tension. Number two, you haven't done the preparation correctly. So this is the reason why we raise bars. Now you might be asking, okay, that's a double door bar. How do you do it with a single door bar? Steroids actually, I believe it's steroids. Well, it's in steroids folder. Steroids, if anyone don't know about steroids, they do very, very nice trims. They do amazing accessories, be it steroids, be it for LVT trims, a lot of good stuff. So if you lot don't know about them, check them out. Lovely company, lovely company to deal with. Now, within this book, they have, they're, they're called the easy wedges. We call them diminishing strips. I don't know why I call them that. I think someone just said that word and it got stuck, but they're called easy wedges. And they're basically like a wedgie. So if you can see here, the the actual wedge is higher and lower so it's like a ramp if you can see it's like a ramp so now these are used for single bars so let's just say for example you've got a single bar here you can't go and smack and raise it like this because what's going to happen is you're going to see that from the opposite side you're going to see that edge so this very simple yet effective design allows it to be like this so now what you do is you raise this again. So this now allows it to raise up. So it's like lifting it up. Whereas if you don't have that, what happens is you've got the same problem again. You're gonna have that carpet coming in and going in. And as you can see from the edges, from the side profile, you can see that maybe the front two teeth will grab it, but the back one for certain ain't, ain't touching it. The back teeth is not gonna, is not gonna touch it. And, and that, that's what we're eliminating. The moment you raise that, it lifts the back. 
it lifts the back. Now when the carpet comes in, it's gonna hook onto it. And this can be used for a Z bar. Again, with a Z bar, you can probably put just a straight uh, six mil, five mil, four mil, depending on your underlay. So you're, you're at the mercy of your underlay. You're gonna be following your underlay. So if your underlay is thin, it may just need three mil. You can use LVT. I use a lot of LVT to raise bars. Three mil, just to raise it a little bit, just to give that little hook. You can use four mil, you can use six mil. You can raise it up bigger if your underlay is like a 12 mil. You can maybe go even higher than, you can maybe raise it eight mil, seven mil. So you're at the mercy of your underlay. You've got to judge it with your underlay. So whatever underlay you have, you raid the bars accordingly. So with the Z bar, you can put an easy wedge there. You can do that. But because you have nothing on the other side, because it's going to be clipping into a tile, it doesn't matter if you put something along the whole thing because no one's going to see it on the other side. This generally is for like a single because the other side is exposed. So it will be on a flat surface and you don't want to raise it like this and then you get to see that because they might have lovely varnished floor then you've got this random piece of wood there so that's where this comes into place raises it up but it's still flat so it's very simple and very clever and you could probably make these you don't really need to buy them but if you do want to buy them i believe steroids has them and probably you could probably get them on loads of loads of websites but that's the reason guys why we raise bars and that's the reason why i always stress to whoever works at trim and tuck to raise bars because it's such a simple thing to do yet very effective for the longevity of the carpet and the warranty of the installation even though a lot of firms may give a one year warranty it may start to give problems in a year and three months we don't want it to give problems that, that is my point and i hope this video understands and clarifies the reason why we raise it a lot of people might think it's stupid let me know let me know and give me your reasons why you think it's stupid are you just going to spray the crap out of it yeah, you can do that. Is it going to stay? Yeah, it probably will. But is that the correct way? No, it's not. Because carpet is designed, well, this particular carpet and a lot of them are designed to be stretched and there's a tolerance that it has to be stretched at. And that's the reason why you stretch into it. And that's the reason why these manufacturers make them with teeth. They're not designed to be stuck down. That's a different ball game. That's a different carpet. That's a different method of install. That's a different bar. That's a different profile. We're talking about this profile, which is very, very common in the flooring industry. And we're talking about raising them and stretching them. And that's the way it should be done. So yeah, you might argue, uh, you just glue it down. You can put latex here. You can put Bostic tape. You can do a lot of things, yeah. But that's not putting the carpet under tension. That's just sticking the carpet down. Um, uh, so let me know. Do you think this is useful? Are you going to use it? And do a snap, show me. I would love to, I will actually love to see someone do this and show me and tell me what you feel and how you feel um, uh, with regards to the outcome. Or are you not gonna do it? Do you think it's a waste of time? Let me know. There's another thing I wanna show you. Let's cut. So these bars are from steroids again. They're premium bars, they're exactly the same as this, just premium. And if you lot do want these bars, they are on our website under steroids thresholds, I believe. Um, I'll try and put the link within the video itself so you can have a look for yourself if you do want any posh, nice, elegant thresholds. So they're, they're not, these are just a standard aluminium ones. These are more premium. Now, these are exactly the same, same method. And what I love about this company is they give pre-made uh, like wood cut to size, the exact same size as this, in the box that it comes with, so you can raise it. Seems like the good companies understand about the raising door bars. Sorry, people might not like that. I cut that. <laughs> There's also, gripper rods also do bars that are already raised, so I don't know if they still do them, but the aluminium part kind of like lips down and it's pre-raised, which is pretty helpful. The only problem with that is it's just raised to a certain height, so you can't really work with it with other underlays you have to adjust it accordingly but yeah it's it's, uh, it's very helpful and it just cuts down the faffing around of cutting this cutting that raising it so guys as i said this is a raised bar and this isn't a raised bar and you can see the difference in sizes when it comes to um sorry someone just walked in when it comes to not raising there's a big void area so this is the reason why we raise bars so yeah that's the reason why um uh, we raise the bars and that's the reason why we stress to raise the bars not to you lot because you lot can do what you want but to people that work within the company 
because we want top quality finish, even if the eye can't see it. So guys, I hope you like this type of video. If you do like this type of video and you see something within our day in the life or within our projects and you think, why do you do that? Or explain to me why you do that. If I get the time, I will sit down and I will explain to you why we do A, B, C or this, that and the third. Share this video so a lot of installers can interact with us and we can try and put it out there and help whoever we can help. I've had a lot of installers that I ring to this day and I always ask for help and they always help me. So I really appreciate that. So I just want to give back, share this video worldwide as much as you can, like it and let me know in the comments and what you want next. And I hope this helped. So yeah, Fabian's right. When you raise the bar, you actually see the profile instead of um, it disappearing. So yeah, it's good that Fabian said that. And he also said another thing. He said the reason why they don't do it is because they are just, some people is just lazy and they want to finish the job quickly. No, you said something else. They're basically con <laughs> 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 Cut that.